Good evening everyone, welcome back to Caking at Midnight. Tonight we'll be using a marvelous mold with the rosettes, a fancy new tool I got, so let's roll that intro. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. To use this, we are gonna take some pink fondant and roll out to the thickness of our molds. You can see the molds about quarter inch thick. So you wanna make sure that it's that thick so you can push it into all of these little crevices, if you can see them on there. In your mold, you're gonna to wanna to just lightly cover it with some cornstarch. This will keep it from sticking in all those little crevices. It honestly does not take a lot, just enough to get them covered. And you can knock off the excess. I already have a cake already crumb coated, and if you'd like to see how I would crumb coat a cake, you can check out the link above. But I already have it crumb coated with one layer of fondant on the top just so it matches our rosettes that we're gonna do on the side with our mold. So like I said earlier, this is a Marvelous Molds rosette mold. Uh, pretty flimsy, but all the silicone molds are pretty cool. Once you have everything pushed in where it needs to be and your edges are smooth around the mold, you can take your piping gel with a wider brush. You can see that in there. And then just paint the back of that a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, the first one is on there. And the way these molds work together is this side will match up with this one and you stick it on there next time. So if you try and go on this one, it's not gonna fit. So they all work together, just so just make sure when you're putting them on there that they're all fitting together, which is another reason to be very careful when you're putting it on not to stretch it because then these edges aren't gonna fit together very good. So we'll roll our next one out. This is a four inch tall cake and a four inch tall mold. Don't forget to add a little piping gel to the back so it has some glue to stick on your cake and it doesn't slide off. You can see the importance of pushing everything in there. That one wasn't quite down all the way so it's a little flattened and then you can see where everything starts to fit together. So since that wasn't pushed in all the way, this got me something, my rosettes are a little flattened, pushed together on there. This is what the whole video is for, so we all learn together. So you can see this one is a little more crisp. Every, everything was really filled in. And then on this one, wasn't pushed in as much. It was a little thinner. So these aren't as defined on your edges. If you do have to reapply cornstarch to the mold each time, it's definitely a possibility depending on how it comes out the last time. So just to be on the safe side, add a little bit more each time. You can also add a little bit of Tylose to your fondant. You only need about a teaspoon per pound of fondant. It doesn't take much, but it'll help 
everything stiffen up on your fondant rosette so when you put on the cake they're not sagging. I hope you've enjoyed the video this evening of how to use the Marvelous Molds Rosette Ruffle. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. I do answer anything that I see down there. If there's anything you'd like to see in the future, please leave it in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching Caking at Midnight and happy caking.